Hello and welcome to my demonstration of the use of golden proportion in articulation. Golden proportion ratio is a ratio of 1 to 1.618. We do have the golden ruler here that maintains that golden proportion ratio. In other words, whatever this distance is, this is approximately 60% wider. Now, it's fun to look at someone's hand. So if I look at your hand and I measure a knuckle to knuckle distance, then your next knuckle to knuckle distance is going to be 1.618. And there's many proportions to the face, as there's vertical proportions as well as lateral proportions to the face. So if we first orientate the wider end to the inner canthus of the eye, to the ala of the nose, we can now evaluate in size of edge position. And we can see here the size of edge is short maybe a half a millimeter to maybe a millimeter, if that. If we want to add a millimeter length to our central incisor, we can come to the articulator. We have the Coys adjustable platform. We can adjust this down one millimeter using the scale on the housing. And this now gives a guide to the technician of adding one millimeter length to the central incisors. We can also evaluate lateral portions to the face. If we measure the lateral canthus of the eyes, it's about 60% wider than someone's mouth. And if we re-index the width of the mouth, be approximately 60% wider than someone's nose. Then we reevaluate the width of the nose, will then give us the width of two central incisors. Once we have that, we can then measure that distance, which is 18 millimeters. We divide that by two, which would be nine millimeters. And we have a set of golden proportion waxing guides from seven millimeters up to 10 millimeters in half millimeter increments so we can choose the nine millimeter golden proportion waxing guide come to the coist platform add the waxing guide to this and we can now evaluate tooth lengths as well as tooth widths all at the same time now if you would like to have a one or two or three degree cant to the occlusal plane you can adjust the incisal pin here. The incisal pin is calibrated in degrees so if we raise the frame up one millimeter or two millimeters, then we can raise the platform up to that position and now the technician can then wax all the teeth to the platform but when you place it in the mouth it'll have a two degree cant to the occlusal plane. Otherwise you can just evaluate the cant of the occlusal plane in relationship to the horizontal table and just raise the buccal cuss up from the waxing guide creating a curve of speed or slight plane of occlusion. We can also evaluate vertical dimension of occlusion by indexing under the nose, let's follow just a little bit, to the new length of the central incisor, and we can see that her vertical dimension is approximately correct, so we may not want to change that. If you did want to change vertical dimension of occlusion, you'd have your upper cast completed, so we can remove the platform, you then add the lower cast, and then we drop it down until the teeth occlude, and then if we want to increase vertical dimension two millimeters, we could raise the pin up two millimeters, and now the technician could wax in the lower teeth against the upper teeth in completing the case. And that completes my demonstration on the use of golden proportion. Thank you.